on the Russia investigation. I want to bring in our senior justice correspondent, Evan Perez. Evan, we're getting some uh, new sound from James Comey, former of the fired FBI director. He just got an interview with NBC News. Let me play the clip and then we'll discuss. Then there was your firing. May 3rd, 2017, you go before the Senate Judiciary Committee. You talk about a lot of things, the Clinton email server, but you declined to answer questions specifically about evidence of collusion at that point. A couple of days later, you're fired. A few days after that, I sit down with President Trump. He says, when I decided to just do it, talking about firing you, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. What did you think when you heard that? I thought that's potentially obstruction of justice, and I hope somebody is going to look at that. Again, the president appears to be saying, I don't know what's in his head, which is why I can't reach the conclusion. What he appears to be saying is, I got rid of this guy to shut down an investigation that threatened me. So he thought originally that was obstruction of justice. What do you think? You know, I think um, that was definitely one of the data points that the Mueller investigators had to look at, the question of whether or not the firing of an FDI, FBI director reaches to the level of, uh, of an obstruction crime, Wolf. Uh, but there's a lot of other data points, a lot of things that we saw from the president uh, publicly, some of it uh, him threatening to fire Mueller, some of this he did behind the scenes, encouraging uh, Don McGahn, his White House counsel, to essentially uh, work, work on uh, Jeff Sessions, his attorney general, to not recuse himself in the investigation. A lot of things happened behind the scenes and in public that Bill Barr mentions in his letter over the weekend. And so I think the, the special counsel looked at all of these things and apparently they came to a final decision that they, they, they would not make a final call and left it up to Bill Barr and Rod Rosenstein to make that final decision. Because in the letter that Bill Barr, the attorney general, wrote to Congress, he quoted Mueller as saying, quote, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him on the issue of obstruction of justice. Right, exactly. And I think this is why now we're going to have several more months, perhaps another year, of questions from lawmakers. And, and by the way, those are very valid questions as to why Mueller would not make that final call. And, and by the way, I think we should mention that uh, Comey was fired by the president, and the president said this to Lester Holt, but there was also a, a memo that was written by Rod Rosenstein that cited a lot of the things that Comey did that went against Justice Department policy in his treatment of, of Hillary Clinton in 2016, uh, multiple times speaking out against policy, and that that's the reason why he was fired, not because of the Russia thing, as the president said, but because Rod Rosenstein, his boss, his yeah. direct superior, thought that he should be fired. There's some new information you're getting about uh, another individual who was uh, interviewed, questioned by Mueller and his team uh, back in January, Maria Butina. Tell us about that. Right. I, this, I think, shows us how exhaustive this investigation was. Maria Butina of, uh, is a Russian national. Uh, she has been, been charged with essentially uh, sort of working behind the scenes as, as sort of a mini spy here in the United States. And one of the things the special counsel brought her before uh, the investigators to, to talk about was her contacts with people in the Trump campaign, J.D. Gordon in particular, who was an aide uh, during the campaign. And they simply wanted to know whether she had any insight into the Russian uh, operation to, uh, to, to interfere in the 2016 election, the disinformation campaign, for instance. And so it appears that uh, she didn't have a lot of knowledge on this, but it is one of those in indications that they made sure they interviewed every single person. She, by the way, is due before a judge tomorrow uh, to revisit her case and whether or not she might be able to get out uh, because she pretty much has already served the amount of time that she was, uh, that she was sentenced to. Yeah, she's been in jail for a while right yes. now. All right, thanks very much, Evan Perez. Uh, reporting. Uh, joining us now, Republican Senator Tom Cotton. He's a member of both the Intelligence and the Armed Services Committee. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure, Will. Right, thanks so, for having me on. As you know, your leader, the uh, Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, he's blocked the resolution calling for a full release of the Mueller report. That resolution had passed in the House of Representatives by a vote of 420 to zero. Do you agree with Leader McConnell? Wolf, I think we need to let Attorney General Barr go through the Mueller report to ensure that we don't release any material that's prohibited by law. His letter on Sunday said that he wants to get out as much material as possible. I agree. I think we should try to release as much of the Mueller report if we, that we can. But of course, there are some federal laws that govern the release of grand jury material. So 
Uh, Attorney General Barr said he's going through that review. He expects it will take weeks, not months. So I think this will be concluded in pretty short order. But I do hope we can see as much of that report as possible. Obviously, the public interest is very great. And we really need to be able to examine, examine as much information as possible and turn the page and move on to the issues ahead of us. So basically, except for classified information that could reveal sources and methods, as they say, or some grand jury proceedings, you want all of it to be made available not only to Congress, but also to the American public. I think it's important that we make as much available to the public as possible, Wolf. What did you think of what we just heard from the fired FBI director, James Comey, who, who basically told Lester Holt of NBC News that uh, when he was fired, he thought that that's potentially obstruction of justice, and I hope somebody is going to look at that. What's your reaction to that? Sour grapes from a man who was fired by Donald Trump, Wolf. Uh, Donald Trump told Lester Holt in that interview right after firing Jim Comey uh, that he thought the, the Trump-Russia thing was uh, fake or hoax or there's nothing to it. He also acknowledged that firing Jim Comey might in fact prolong the review, which it probably did. Bob Mueller was investigating this matter for 22 months. But Bob Mueller is an experienced, lifelong prosecutor. He's a former 12-year director of the FBI. He had the full power of the United States government and the grand jury and wiretaps and foreign intercepts behind him. And he found no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and its associates or Russia. If he didn't find that, I don't think a House uh, Democrat is going to find it. And I don't think there's any evidence of obstruction of justice in the president exercising his constitutional oversight authorities on in the Department of Justice and, frankly, not taking any steps to interfere uh, with the investigation. I mean, the, the Democrats have been saying for 22 months the president's going to fire Bob Mueller. It never happened. Bob Mueller reached his conclusion and he's closing up shop, finding no evidence of collusion. Well, he did find some uh, evidence, uh, but apparently not enough to file charges because he says in his report uh, that uh, the Attorney General Bill Barr released to Congress, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. Uh, should, do you believe Mueller should have punted? Should he have made a formal recommendation instead of saying, I, I, can't, I can't give you a formal recommendation? Well, well, we'll we'll have to review the actual report to see exactly what he means by that short statement that was quoted by Attorney General Barr. I would say a couple of things, though. First, in, in our system of justice, it's not the job of the prosecutor or law enforcement to exonerate any American. Every American is presumed innocent uh, until proven guilty. So the idea that the special counsel is supposed to exonerate the subject of investigation is simply contrary to the basic notions of fairness embedded in our justice system. And second. I infer from Attorney General Barr's statement about many of these matters being public that we probably know a lot of what Bob Mueller is referring to in that report. The president firing Jim Comey or tweeting about the investigation or commenting about the investigation, all of which occurred in plain sight, Wolf. If that's the case, I think it's pretty far-fetched to build a case for obstruction of justice on some mean tweets.